I'm living at this moment because of you. And I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy brought me through. Your grace and mercy and mercy. To go out and tell the world, tell a dying world, salvation is free. There have been times when I, I would not do right, but you, 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 you watched over me, watched over me both day and night. You see, justice, justice demanded that I should die. But grace and mercy said, oh no, oh no, we've already paid the price. You see, I was blinded, but thank God I could see. Because grace and mercy, grace and mercy, grace and mercy came along and reached way, 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 way down and rescued me. Your grace and mercy. Yeah. It brought me through and I'm living, I'm living this very moment. All because of you, all because of you, all because of you.
Wake up, wake up, America. It is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, your brother, Brother Oscar York, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word, and putting and putting and putting a snap. In your Christian walk this morning. And we are so, 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 so glad. So glad to do it. Yes, we are. We are so glad to do it. And we hope, we hope, we hope. <laughs> Stop sounding like a broken record, brother Oscar. We hope that you have your ears on and ready to hear another, 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 uh, <laughs> Episode, almost we got there, another episode of Chatting from the Word. We hope that you are, we hope that you have years on ready, ready to listen to us on this wonderful, a wonderful morning. Wake up, everybody. Wake up, world. Wake up, wake up, and uh, wake up. Amen, amen. You know, my friends, it's just a good thing to start your day off. We're chatting from the Word with Christ. Because that's what we're doing here. We are chatting about Jesus Christ. He is the Word. Uh, John uh, 1 and 1, He is the Word. So we are chatting about Christ Jesus, uh, the Word. And we hope that you have your ears on while we are chatting about the Lord on this wonderful, wonderful morning, though early. But we're trying to start your day off just right. Is that all right with you, my friends? Is that all right with you? All right, all right, all right. Now, this is episode 351, 351, that the Lord has blessed us with. Amen and amen. And again, we are so thankful that you all are listening. We thank you very much for listening to our program and for sticking with Brother Oscar so far. I appreciate that. You are a grand blessing to us here at Chatting from the Word, and we appreciate all of you. And so don't think we do not. Brother Oscar loved you so, so, so much. And I am glad, I am so glad that you're listening in to us here on Chatting from the Word in the Morning. Amen, amen, amen. And if this happens to be your first time listening in on us to, today, uh, don't allow it to be your last time. Come back now and listen to us again. Don't, don't allow this to be your last time listening. And since it's your first time listening, and if you really enjoy uh, what you're listening to, tell your friends about us here. On chatting uh, from the word, we hope that you will do uh, just just that, my friends. Do you? Let me see how I can, brother Oscar, put this. Enjoy what we do here. Are you getting an uplift to your day? We're chatting from the word. Are we? Are, are we inspiring you? To do more and to love the Lord even much more? Are we teaching lessons that will help you along your Christian walk? And if you answer yes to all those questions, we have one more question to ask you. Can you help us <laughs> financially? We need your help, uh, brother. As you may know, brother, Oscar is not a rich person. And He's a senior citizen. He's up in age. He's 60, uh, 60, 60, 60, 60, <laughs> not 36, 65 years old. 
and I, I can't do what I used to do. If I was younger, I'd probably get out there, work a job, and, and do any kind of job I can just to support this uh, fine, fine ministry that uh, we have. But, you know, I, I'm not able to do that. I'm on uh, retirement, and, and you know how small a amount that is. So we need your help here, chatting from the word. If you can help us financially, that would be a blessing. It would be a blessing if you have uh, something to help us out here financially. Most of us, we think it's, it's wrong to support a ministry, but it's not nothing wrong to support Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for you. He brought in salvation. And I believe, I believe that we should show our appreciation every time the word is being presented. Amen and amen. So, my friends, if you have it, if you can do it, help us out here chatting from the word. Because I truly believe that we here chatting from the word are making a difference in the world. I believe Christ, I believe Christ makes a difference in people's lives today. And if you believe the same, please help us here at Chatting from the Word Financially. Do it today. Don't have Brother Oscar begging you to, to, to love the Lord. Now, don't go have him begging you to love the Lord. Do it today. And we do have an account on PayPal.com. Just pull up the web page, PayPal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. And you can also go to Chase. Dot com Zell. And again, put in my email address, which is lowercase uh, Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Do it today. Do it today. It's easy. If you have a laptop, go to the uh, web page, uh, the, uh, PayPal, and uh, either chase.com and, and uh, put it in the amount you want to. Help yeah, Brother Oscar out with, please do that. I'm not going to beg you. Please do that. It's, it's your decision. But please do that. Amen, amen, amen. We here in uh, Mimesburg, Dayton, Ohio, or Dayton, Ohio, Mimesburg area. We are doing fantastic. And we hope that you're doing fabulous where you are at in the world as well. But we here in Dayton, Ohio, we are doing great. And I like to say this morning, good morning, Dayton, Ohio. We hope that you have your ears on and listening to us here and chatting from the word. Weather-wise, weather-wise, the uh, weather report has it at 28 degrees. That is a cold. <laughs> 28 degrees, if you're not from these parts, that's cold. <laughs> If you like me from Texas, down Texas way, where where we don't uh, see too much uh, low degrees like that, and that's something to get accustomed to. I guarantee you that. And then it's partly cloudy, partly cloudy. Low chance of precipitation on uh, today, 10%. Humidity is 78%. Dew point at 24 degrees. And pressure is at 30. Now, I look at that. I look at that report. And I said, myself, that's all right. <laughs> not, not the fact that, that it's a beautiful day, but it's all right. It's all right. And you know the reason why Brother Oscar says it's all right. You know why. Regardless of what's going on on the outside. It could be raining cats and dogs. It could be snowing, sleeting, and have a 50 feet of snow at my door. But, my friends, as long as I have the Son of God, I have sunny and beautiful days every day because I have the S-O-N, the Son of God. And, my friends, since you have your ears on, too, we know you have him as well. Amen. And he, he. Man, my friends, my friends, we have a wonderful program for you on tap this morning. We really do. And as you may say, you so confident in yourself, brother Oscar. No, it's not in me. I guarantee you it's not in me. It's in Jesus Christ, him, that I have trust and complete faith in. 
And that is in our Lord, because on this program here, when we program the, the program, Christ is first. He's in the middle, and he's on the end. So you can't miss with that formula. If as long as you have faith in Jesus Christ, you will have. Uh, you are having success. Amen, amen, amen. And our first song that you heard in our introductory was God's Great Mercy," sung by Harold Robinson. And then our prayer time, of course, we're going to pray our prayer anthem, our, sweet, our prayer, Radiance a cappella. And the song that's going to be uh, before the message and after prayer would be the reason, the reason by sing, sung by praise and harmony. And then the message, the message, the message that you all been waiting for all this time. You been waiting. <laughs> what you tell my brother Oscar? <laughs> Have you been waiting for this message all this time? The message is our reasonable service. That's right, my friend. We are still in the letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Roman Christians. Uh, uh, and we own chapter 12, 1 through 21. So, my friends, when we get to that part of the program, have your Bibles out so that uh, you can study along with your brother here, Brother Oscar. And, of course, as always, I, and I have said this in quite some time, if, if you disagree with me, at any point, or uh, if the uh, I'm not the smartest man in the world, I mean, that, that, that's God to me. <laughs> They're taking too, many, too much credit if I say, I am the greatest. I am the smartest. Remember Muhammad Ali, you say, I am the greatest. I am the I don't have that attitude. I try to put it all on. I try to have my faith and allow the Lord to shine through me. And we hope that I'm doing that here on Chatting for the Lord. So if, if, if any time you hear uh, Bilasia says saying something that's not correct, correct them on it. I mean, but, 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 but at the same time have book, chapter, and verse of the God word where you disagree with me on. I'm not talking about man's word. I'm not talking about creed books. I'm not talking about uh, any other books that you're studying to, 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 uh, to uh, make your case. I'm talking about the Word of God. If I'm wrong, prove it by the Word of God. And that's all we ask of you here. If you hear me say something that's not correct or something that you uh, totally disagree with. Amen and amen. Now, my friends, are you ready? Are you ready to get on board this train and ride? Are you ready? The ride is just a little bit under an hour now. But are you ready to get on board? And you know our conductor. You know our driver. He is no other than our Lord, uh, Jesus Christ. He knows this train well. He knows the tracks. And he knows the route. So my friends, get on board this ride. Get on board this train. And ride. And ride. And ride. Now, don't worry about what's going on on the outside of the train. Don't worry about that. Let that take care of itself. But for under an hour now, I want you to stick with us here chatting from the Word and allow Christ to be your guide, your driver, and your conductor. Amen and amen. And on board this train, you can have a cup of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, milk. Juice, soda water, soda pop, uh, a nice squeeze glass. <laughs> Excuse me, a glass of orange juice or uh, lemonade while you are relaxing on board this train. Now, if you're at home, go ahead on and recline in your reclining chair. Or just stretch out on your couch or on the floor. While you're listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, 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 if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road. But keep on listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're in the gym, try to get the muscles all tuned up, tuned in, and all that good stuff, all that scrub, scrub, scrub more stomach. Put your earbuds on while you're exercising so that you can keep on listening here to your brother, 
Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're just if you getting out to go to work or getting ready to go to work, take us with you so that you can listen to us on the way to work. And if you're going to school, do the same. Uh, if you're getting up fixing breakfast, ladies or gentlemen, listen to us while you're cooking. Cooking while I'm listening to us while you work and cook and clean, or whatever you have set out for your day. Amen and amen. Amen. All right, all right, all right. Where am I, y'all? Where am I? And we will be right back after these messages.
Amen, amen, and amen. That was Sweet Hour of Prayer, sung by uh, Radiance Acapella. And this is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that uh, you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just email it to me. Simply, in it? <laughs> just email, email it to me, my email address again in a little case, Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can message it to me on our messenger page, uh, uh, your prayer request. And I may not be able to ask you back at times because I have uh, overspent my <laughs> messages, <laughs> I guess. Uh, that, that's what's happening. I, I, I message so many people a day, so they don't allow me so many people a day on messenger. So if, I don't, uh, if I, you don't hear back from that, that's me. I did not receive your prayer request. And of course, you can go to uh, our page on, on Facebook, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar, uh, slash OscarYorkPubSheet.com, or you can go to our webpage, OscarYorkPubSheet.com, and put in your prayer request there. And I believe, don't take my word for it, I'm not sure that if you listen to us live, you can put in your prayer request at that time, and it will come on my screen, and we will pray for that request when we do see it. So, my friends, uh, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here at Chatting from the Word, just email it to us, and I'll use those avenues, and we will. We will pray for your request. Amen. And uh, amen. And, of course, this is our prayer time, and, uh, and uh, you know... <clears throat> That uh, for a while, uh, we've been praying for this pandemic that we are in, and uh, it's been almost a year. Almost a year. This is what well, December and uh, January, basically. If you ask me, now I'm not the expert. Uh, don't don't just take the Oscar's word for it because uh, you need facts to pack up everything you say, but. I believe, uh, and many of you were there too, uh, that th this uh, coronavirus or COVID-19 came around uh, this December or January, and I believe the world really didn't know nothing about it till maybe February or March, and uh, that's when the president was announcing it, and you, you all know what happened there. I'm, I'm just going to explain that, and you all was present, and you all, you all seen on, on, on your networks or on the TV, I mean, things, the world is, is so open today, you can't, the president can't get away with doing things like he once did, so, um, we heard, we all, we, we all know, we all, that, that have ears, and really are, 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 are a, uh, we are, are, you know, uh, uh, really like the truth, uh, I guess that's the best word I can use. Would would be you know would would tell the truth. That's all. That's all I want to say. We'll stand up for what is right and what was done. What was done is done. You can't go back in time and and take it back. Okay. Sometimes we wish we can, but the only thing we can do is say forgive me and keep on going, keep on going, keep on moving. <laughs> that's the only thing we can do. And that's all of us. Not just the president or, or whatever. That's all of us. When we make mistakes, uh, when we say things that. Uh, out the ordinary, that's not right. We just need to apologize. Say, I'm sorry, and we on. And sometimes, for some people, saying sorry is the hardest thing to do. Amen. And of course, we've been praying for those that have contracted this coronavirus, and praying that uh, God will heal their bodies. And of course, praying for those that lost loved ones and uh, uh, in this. Uh, pandemic and those lost loved ones to the hands of police. And, of course, uh, the police themselves and political leaders and the church and, and you are our listeners and uh, the program and the message. Uh, that's our prayer in a nutshell for today. The scripture text that we want to use uh, before we approach the throne of grace We'll be coming from Isaiah 40. And if you have a copy of God's Word, you can follow along with me. This is one of my favorite scriptures. One of my, I got many favorites. 
And it happened to be uh, my favorite, what Isaiah says here. In Isaiah 40, uh, verses 28 through uh, 31. And Isaiah penned these words. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard? That the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, faileth not, neither is weary. There's no searching for his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. Amen, amen. Praise, praise the Lord. Will you approach the throne of grace with me, please? Our Father, great King of kings, Lords of lords, glory of glory, all of the Thank you, first of all, for being our Father. Father, we thank you, first of all, for being so merciful, so kind, and so loving towards us. Father, we thank you for this another day you have allowed us to see. Another chance, another chance just to make it right with you. Another time to walk closer and closer with you, Father. We thank you so much for that. Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who died. So when we go on the cross, he did it for us, Father. Taking our place, and we thank you, Father, for that. So that he opened the portal so the portals could be opened so that we may relate, relate to you and talk with you and be part of, of you as you are part of us, Father, Father, and of course, salvation. Oh, Father, we come praying for the condition of the world today during the pandemic. Father, we pray that you uh, help us as Christians to understand, help us as Christians to be patient, Help us as a Christian to be loving and being kind at this time. And Father, we come praying for those that have contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you be with them, heal their bodies, be with the doctors so that they may minister the right medicines so that they may be whole and well once again. And Father, we come praying for those who have lost loved ones during this pandemic. Father, we pray that you will comfort their hearts, minds, and souls. And for all we come praying for those that have died at the hands of the police. For all we pray for their families as well. For all we pray that you will also comfort them and to allow them to see better days. And for all we come praying for the police who felt as though they need to use force to deal with the criminal element. For all we pray that they may, those that need it, Receive the training that they need to be a better, better officers. And so I will become praying for the political leaders at this time. We pray for Mr. Trump, Father. We pray that he will accept what has happened, that he may concede and recognize that Mr. Biden and Mrs. Kamala Harris is the next administration to sit where he wants at. And for all that we come praying at this time for the church, Father, help us to, during this pandemic, to remain the church, help us to uh, stand on your principles of love, unity, and the truth. And for all that we come praying for all of our listeners at this time, for all that we pray uh, that you be with them, strengthen them during this pandemic. During this storm, show them the lesson that needs to be learned. And show them love. I know you do, Father. And allow them to be patient and wait on you. 
Oh, Father. This me too, Father. We need sometimes strength to know what's right. We need your word to know which step to take in our lives and which way to go. Oh, Father. We come praying for our program here at Chatting from the Word. Help us, Father, to get the finances we need to keep this uh, program on the air. Father, help us to be a light in each community that we're heard in. Father, help us with the message on today, our reasonable service. Father, help us that we may make it so plain that the youngest ones of us can understand the message. And Father, we come praying for those that we've been praying for all this time. Father, we pray that you be with them. Help them through the struggles that they're going through. Help them to accomplish the things that they want to do, especially for you. And Father, I come praying for myself also. Help me to have the patience of what I'm going through. Father, help me to make the right decisions. Help me to sell your word constantly closer and closer with you. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, one first. Thank you for praying along with us on that prayer. And we hope that we prayed for something that is on your mind. Amen. And amen. All right, all right, all right. This is a reminder that you're listening to Chatting from the Word with your host, Brother Oscar York, in the morning on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a spell in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we are so glad, so glad to do it. And if I just said, isn't it just a good thing to just begin in the morning with Jesus Christ and allow him to set your course for the day? Isn't it beautiful? I I believe it is. And yes, a Christian should believe the same, that it is just a good thing to let the Lord set your course for the morning. And, And then your day should be great after that. We recognize how beautiful and wonderful our Lord really is. All right, all right, where am I, you all? Where am I? We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back, and we're glad to be back with you. We hope that you still have your ears on, and we hope that you're listening to us here, chatting from the Word in the morning. And Brother Oscar is so delighted, so grateful to bring you this program at this time, and we hope that you all listening have uh, your ears on. At least we hope that you do have them on and listen to us here, chatting from the Word. And, of course, it's our second chance of asking for donations. If you can help us out here, chatting from the Word, financially, we would be appreciative of that uh, very, very much. We don't ask for that much. It don't take that much. It don't take that much. It don't take that much. You can give a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever your heart desires to give towards this ministry, uh, you can do uh, just that. And, of course, we own PayPal. We have a account on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal web page and put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443, at gmail.com. Or you can go to chase.com, Zell. And, again, put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443, at uh, gmail.com. Uh, amen. And uh, a, a, man. And now, for the announcements, uh, we, we don't, <laughs> don't have any announcements, and I normally check my 
email, and I will check it today after the program. After we get the program together and share it with you, uh, we will check our emails. And if you have any announcements that you want Bill Oscar to announce here on Chatting from the Word, simply put it on my email, in my email. Know the email address, lowercase Oscar 3443 at gmail.com. If you have any announcements or want to announce uh, the uh, events that your organization is involved in or your church or whatever. If you want us to announce it here at chat on chatting from the word, just send it to my email. Most of you might be kind of fear for the Senate, but Senate Bill Oscar's he's not a booger bear. He's not gonna bite. <laughs> he's not going to bite because he loves every one of you all. And, of course, if your church is having an event uh, going on, uh, you can also do that here. I know many may not be having too too much going on because of the pandemic and the restrictions that come along uh, with that. And uh, we just hear chatting from the Word. We pray uh, that a lot of us can have patience. We pray that the Lord bring an end to it soon and to some power soon enough. So we, we pray for that condition. And, of course, if you have any anniversaries uh, coming up and you want us to announce it here, send it to my email address again, okay? And if you have one today, let Bill Oscar say happy anniversary to you. And, of course, if you have a birthday coming up and if you want us to announce it here on Chatting from the Word, just send it to us, to our email address. And if you're having a birthday today, happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday. Amen. <laughs> and amen. But I just have to tell you happy birthday. And this is your day, so enjoy your day. All day. Amen. And uh, uh, amen. Now. I know that you're listening because I share the program with you. And and when we share the program with you, let your friends know about it. Spread the news, spread the news, spread the news. Let them know that we're on the air, chatting from the word in the morning with your host, your brother, Oscar York. Spread the news. Tell your friends on Facebook. Tell your friends on weekend. Tell your friends on the internet networks that you come on that we are that chatting from the word is on and we are chatting about jesus christ the word amen 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 yes we also spread the news spread the news but not only spread the news like us here at chatting from the word when we share the program with you like us like us and i'm so glad many of you do and i am so blessed at that but what I do want y'all to do is join our family here at Chatting from the Word. Follow us here. I believe on the Spreaker platform, it has a place where you can follow us here. And when you put a follow in, they will contact you to let you know when we are broadcasting and on so that you won't miss an episode. And that would be a beautiful thing to do. And, of course, we come on live at this time on YouTube. If you're listening to us, to us through YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Uh, you to subscribe. We need subscribers, so subscribe to that station as well, and you two will contact me to let you know when we are broadcasting and other entities, other networks that we come on. Uh, we're coming on live, so listen to us here chatting from the Word because we are chatting about the greatest Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen and amen. Now, if you ever want to contact your brother, you're welcome to do that. I'm not untouchable. I can be touched. You can reach out and touch Brother Oscar any time. You can, but, 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 but. <laughs> What's the but, Brother Oscar? Send me an email first if you want to call me. Don't just call me. Don't just call me. And many have been calling me up, and they, I guess they just want to hear Brother Oscar breathe. But. If you want to talk with your brother here, just just email me first your phone number. We can we can talk. I can talk to anyone. I, I'm not <laughs> restricted because <laughs> I love every one of y'all. So y'all can uh, uh, first send an email. Send me an email, or you can text me if you want to say hi, hello, and many have. Uh, you can 
do that as well. And I do see it, though. I, sometimes I may not be able to answer you back, but I do, I do see it because I get my notifications almost <laughs> every minute, every hour. So, but I also do do see uh, when you're speaking to him. So, and I do I appreciate that very, very much. And of course, you can go to our page on on Facebook, uh, chatting from the word host, my brother Oscar. Uh, Oscar slash OscarYorkPublishing dot com, and or you can go to our webpage OscarYorkPublishing dot com and leave a line or two uh, there. You can do that. But while you're on that webpage, we do have a bookstore. Your brother here has offered two books. My first book, which is a peaceful place in the storms, God's in control, will sell for twenty one fifty. And our second book, Bridges of Friendship. Which also fell for twenty one fifty, and if you want to purchase both books, both books are forty three dollars. I believe I got that right. Twenty one fifty plus twenty one fifty is forty three dollars. And proceeds will go toward this fine program that we put on every morning and on Saturday evenings. Proceeds will go towards that uh, this show. So go visit OscarPublishing dot com. Do it today. And order you a book and read. Now you know what Brother Oscar believes about reading. We read to get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power, power, power. Yes, it does. It comes power. So, my friends, go visit us at dot com and order you a book and read. Now, then the networks do come on. It's music download, VLC, Lave, Joyce Van, Chrome, WebView, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, Paul Player Net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic, and Draw App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Castbox, Podcasts, Addicts, Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, Clicking in, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, visit your Google Play or App Store and download Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up, chatting from the word. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that when we are on, you can be ready to hear a fine program from us here at Chatting uh, from the Word. Amen. And amen. And now for our only selection besides the usual ones that we're going to play today will be the reason, the reason, the reason by praise and harm, both me and here we go. There's a reason I can see. Shout! 
Amen, amen. That was praise and harmony, the reason. Let Jesus be the reason why you sing. Let Jesus be the reason why you spread a smile on your face so early this morning. Let Jesus be the reason why you waking up this morning and listening to us here at Chatting from the Word. All right, all right, all right. Where are we? Where am I, you all? We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are back. <laughs> and we're glad to be back. We hope that you still have your ears on and you're ready for the message portion of this program. Uh, as you may know, if you've been sticking with Brother Oscar for quite some time, we know we've been studying from the book of Romans, the letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Roman Christians, the church that was set up in the Romans province. And uh, I, we can imagine they was going through uh, the difficult times, and here uh, Paul is writing a letter to them to encourage them and to keep their fight going for the Lord. And sometimes, even much today, is 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 a for some it's a struggle uh, to live this Christian world because at times we, we we must deal with other elements in the world that do not cater to us as Christians. And uh, I hope. I can say that because uh, that is a fact. Uh, you know, some of us, we might not want to admit it, uh, but it's a struggle dealing with the world, although the world don't think so themselves, because if you ask a common person, they, if you ask them if they believe in God, they say, oh, I believe, I love them. So are you willing to live for them? And I believe that's the read that that is a purpose and reason why some people do what they do because they do not recognize the love of Christ and their love for God. They don't recognize what love is really all about. But here I believe in this letter that Paul wrote to the Roman Christian. He's talking about a lot of things. And if you've been with us from the first uh, study of uh, this book, you see Paul brings out love, he brings out grace, he brings out mercy. Oh, man, Paul just laid it out in this letter that he wrote to the uh, Roman Christians. And in chapter 12, uh, he, the question after you read chapter 11 is, what can we give back to the Lord? What can, I'm just paraphrasing here. Uh, what can we give back to the Lord? And, 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 and Paul answered it like this. He says, to be a living sacrifice. He died for you. And the only thing we can do is be a living sacrifice for him. Give ourselves to him, which is our reasonable service, which is fair, which is fair. And we must make the similarities to when a friend of mine uh, saved me from drowning. And I appreciate that very, very much, something I would never, never forget. And that's what Jesus did for us on the cross. He saved us by his grace and by the Father's grace. He saved us. He took our place where we didn't have to go to the cross and pay the penalty for our own sins. Christ, who did no sin, became sin for you and for me. So the best thing we can do for someone that gave so much and still giving so much to us is to love him as back as much as he loved us. Amen. Amen. And we have to point to the lesson I'm trying to what Brett Oscar is doing, he's trying to figure out how he can present it because I, I love studying God's word and, and each lesson I bring I, I look at it as a talk. We're just talking here. And uh, I, I don't, you know, <laughs> uh, I study it, but I study it to, to discuss it with you. This is not a, 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 I wouldn't call it a sermon. We're just discussing God's word, and sometimes I might bring up things that's in my mind at the time. So that, uh, you know, that I believe it's good teaching. I believe so. And if you don't believe so, let me know. If you do, let me know too. But I may be a little different. Uh, uh, in that sense, from it, lots of teachers you may have uh, 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 taught, have taught you. Because I'm teaching from things from one that I experienced, and I'm teaching from God's Word. And, and sometimes experience is the best uh, 
antidote that anyone can learn from. I'm, I'm gonna say that I'm not knocking out school. I, I'm from I, I, I am for you learning your skill and learning it well. But I believe still the best teacher is life itself and experience that life do teach us at times. Some of us, we want to ignore the things that life teaches us. But don't you know, my friends, we, we go through the storms in life for a reason. And, and I look at it like this, and if you, if you get a copy of my book, A Peaceful Place in the Storms, you can see what I'm talking about. But I believe in every storm, uh, every storm that the Lord brings our way is a message in the storm. It's a message in the storm. It's a whisper in the storm. And in every storm, we must listen to the whispering. And most of us, the reason why we can't grow in grace, the reason why we don't recognize our talent, is what I want to talk about today, is because we don't hear the whisper. We look at every storm as being something awful instead of something beautiful. Instead of something that we can grow by. Instead of something that we can learn from. Are you listening to the whistling of a wind in your storms? Are you listening to what the storms is trying to tell you? A lot of us want to overlook the storms. A lot of us, we want to think the storms are the worst thing that could happen to us. And sometimes it is. I'm not uh, claiming that storms are beautiful or good. But if we can learn from those storms to be a better individual for the Lord, that storm done its, done its job. That storm done its job. That storm does did what the Lord wanted to do. It's to bring our attention to him and to his love and to our love for him. And that's why I get out of my storms. I, 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 I feel like that. All the storms, and I've been through many, that the Lord brought my way, I listened to him. And, and then going on record saying this, I still listen to the storms in retrospect of what God had done in my life. I listened to the, 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 the storms, the worst things at the time I was going through them. I thought they was the worst thing. And I was thinking just like a normal person, where are you, Lord? Where are you? Where are you? Your son is going through something. Don't you care? But you know, when I look back in retrospect of everything that I have went through, the Lord brought those thorns in my life to grow, to groom, uh, and I like to say that word, to grow and to groom me for what he want me to do for him. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? <laughs> Isn't that something? God brings, if you don't get any other thought, I, I, I would be lost to say this one. Get this thought here. God brings storms in our lives to groom us, to train us, to educate us for something that he wants us to do in his service. Amen. We're going we're gonna to end it there. I didn't know I was going to say all that. <laughs> but we're going to end it there. We hope that we said something. Uh, that uh, you can uh, grow by. And, of course, we were coming from uh, our First Corinthians 12. If you're wondering what, where this talk is coming from, and uh, we're hitting uh, verses 5, 6, and 7, and that's talking about the gifts and, 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 and the ministry and the talents that give, God gives to all of us, okay? So that's where Brother Oscar was coming from this morning, all right? All right, all right, all right. Where are we? It's time to end the program. We always spend our time, and we want to apologize for that. But again, we enjoy uh, bringing you this program 
this morning. We really did, and we hope that uh, you uh, was uplifted as well and enjoyed the program, too. But we must say our goodbyes. Please pray with me, please. Our Father, the Lord, heaven, now be thy name. Father, we thank you for this time that we have to spend with all our listeners. Father, we thank you for the blessing of this ministry. Father, we thank you for all that listen. We pray for all of our listeners. Father, we pray that they have a wonderful, wonderful day and enjoy their day and put and give you all the glory, praise, and honor all day. Looking up to you from whence it cometh. Their help. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest through, abide with us all until we meet again. In Jesus' name we, we pray. Amen and amen. And again, it was nice chatting with you this morning from chatting from the word. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye bye. I'm living at this moment because of you, and I want to thank.